this video we're going to take a look at the snug pack enhanced patrol poncho and one of the coolest poncho liners i've ever seen from snug pack also coming up on survival on purpose welcome back to survival on purpose my name is brian thanks for joining me so in this video we're going to take a look at a poncho system consisting of the snug pack enhanced patrol poncho which is a really cool poncho all by itself some some really cool features i like a lot and i think you'll like too we'll talk about those in a minute and the snug pack poncho liner which is like taking this whole thing to a whole other level of warmth and comfort so we will talk about let me talk about the specs of these things real quickly and then we'll get to doing some of that poncho stuff i hope my face is not too dark by the way i'm actually get, trying to set this up where i'm standing in the shadow of a tree because the sun is like crazy bright in my eyeballs so let's just unpack this first of all the poncho so this thing is 14 ounces which is not a lot of weight it's it's, it's constructed of snug packs exclusive paratex dry fabric and it goes down to about three and a half by eight inches it fits in this little bag let me show you some cool features this thing by the way and i'll show you that in a minute is designed here let me show you this is what happens when i'm not standing in the tree shadow okay so this is designed to be worn over a backpack which is a great feature that some ponchos just don't have but let me just back up into the old bright sunlight and show you a couple things that are cool okay now i'm back here in the sunshine um so here you can see how big this thing is it's, it's pretty good size but the thing about it is it's not like a lot of ponchos it's not just a, a rectangle of fabric with a hole in it for your head it actually has arm sl sleeves on it and so the sides are sealed also so it really gives there's, there's no flapping in the wind for water to come in the side it actually covers it really well and then um it also has a and i'm gonna put this thing on in just a minute to show you who the pack but has a chest pocket here which is really nice velcro chest pocket and you put your maps in it a pretty good, pretty good size pocket actually to put pretty much whatever you need to in there it actually has some little bellows on the side so it gets out pretty big and then um a nice zipper at the collar drawstring hood 100 percent waterproof again it's 14 ounces it's got the sleeves with thumb holes so, so i'm gonna go grab a pack i'll we'll put this thing on and I'll show you how well it works. Okay, so I've got a mid-sized pack on here, you can see. It's just, uh, see how difficult this thing is to put on. Okay, so, not only does it have, see, not only does it have a zipper here, but it's gusseted, so even when it's unzipped, you're not gonna get a bunch of rain in there. This is up here, very nice. Um, nice big hood here. You can see it's got, arm thumb holes here to keep your sleeves down uh, and you can also see that if I can get it over my pack let's see if I get it over the pack the uh, sides really allow you to uh, get it over your pack pretty well you can see this is a great job uh, covering all the way down almost to my knees and I'm about 5'8 so I'll show you one more thing okay you see this so the hood is actually Pretty much big enough for you can wear a pretty good size hat i mean i'm wearing this tilly full size hat under it and it keeps the uh keep the rain off my glasses or whatever but so let's take a look at the uh poncho liner now okay so that was the enhanced patrol poncho which is an excellent poncho which by the way i like the fact that it doesn't have any open sides on it so if you're really in a bad situation you can Zip that sucker up and get inside and just hunker down. You kind of got your own little self-contained cocoon. Um, speaking of cocoons, this poncho liner is nice, soft, and fluffy. And let me just read you about the specs real quick here. Um, this thing is good for a temperature rating of 36 to 45 degrees Fahrenheit or 7 to 2 degrees centigrade. It has a dedicated hood, dedicated sleeves like the poncho. Packs to about 6 to 7 inches. 6x7 which is about this and weighs just 25 ounces or 709 grams both the shell and the liner antibacterial paratex fabric and the uh, shells also micro diamond water repellent fabric 
Phil is snug pack travel soft and it's available in olive black and coyote as is the poncho so now that we got this thing in and out of the light for you probably making the camera do all sorts of craziness let's open this thing up and do some of that poncho liner stuff so first of all it's got a nice compression stuff sack that comes with it and let's open that up loosen it up some and open the top step back into the sunshine again and let's get this thing out of the bag And I tell you, I'm, this is like everything else I've seen from Snug Pack. This is just high quality stuff. I mean, they, they actually built a reputation, I think, on sleeping bags. And so anything to do with insulation and softness, they just are really, I got this thing crammed in here too, don't I? Okay, man, come on out. Come on, you can do it. Yeah, I have it. Okay, wow. That's like a rabbit out of a hat trick. So. Let me back up into the bright blinding sunlight again and uh, where you can see this whole thing. Okay, so um, you can see it's pretty good size and this, unlike the poncho, the sides are open on this so you can hold it out open like so and it, and it makes kind of like a blanket with just the holes for your head and the arms. Pretty good size um, so you could definitely use it um, for several other things other than just a poncho liner. And let's put this thing on. Which way does the hood go? <laughs> there we go. Okay, so. Let me give you the D shirt for this thing. So it has a drawstring adjustable hood here. You can just, you can snug that thing right on down. And get, my, get the loops out here. Snug it down. It's, it's, as warm and tight as you want it to be. Um, very nice and soft and comfy again the sides are open but there's enough fabric they kind of close themselves up and cover themselves up you wear this under the poncho it's not gonna matter because the poncho sides are closed nice sleeves what a repellent kind of fabric you can see it's diamond ripstop also which is just another nice feature it helps keep it from getting torn up in a harsh woodland type environment and and this thing is just very comfortable and it's probably 50 degrees outside today here in December in Georgia. I know you guys up north are laughing thinking this is summertime, but that's the way it is here. So, And I'm getting pretty toasty wearing this thing right now, like I'm about to come out of it. But before I do that, I want to show you the whole setup with a poncho on. So let me go and throw the poncho on this thing. Okay, for illustration purposes, I've got both the liner and the poncho and my backpack on. And just to show you what I had to do, because of the liner has fully just full, full sleeves, you have to put the liner on first, then the backpack, then the poncho. But it all works fine, nice and toasty and nice and dry. Okay, so that is the Snug Pack Enhanced Patrol Poncho and the Snug Pack Poncho Liner. Um, again, the Enhanced Patrol Poncho is about 36 bucks on Amazon. The liner is about 44, so for 77 bucks, you can get the entire system Man, and this is 100% high quality stuff. Well, I've been fortunate enough to be able to take a look at several items from Snug Pack in the last couple, three months. And I gotta tell you, every single one of them has not failed to meet or exceed my expectations. Not only do they, do they have some great designs, but the quality is, is first class and the attention to detail and, and just some things you don't even think about, but you notice it's like, wow, this is so cool. So. As an example, just the thumb sleeves on the poncho. Look, I've been using ponchos for a long time. I'm a scout master and I was a boy scout. So I've been wearing ponchos. And as a matter of fact, I've still got my boy scout poncho that is probably 40 years old. And it is a heavy plastic sweat machine. But it, and it sort of works, not like this. So anyway, be a great Christmas gift for somebody. Be a great gift for yourself. If you're looking for a great poncho and a liner, for cool, cool or cold weather, I encourage you to check out the Snug Pack stuff. It is really good stuff. Okay, um, I want to um, take a second here. I, I, just, I was about to put this stuff up and I realized, you know what I just said, I thought about what I just said, and it may sound like I'm on the payroll of Snug Pack or something because I'm so adamantly enthusiastic that they are a great company with some great products. 
first of all let me say right up front snug pack's not paying me a penny um they send me this stuff to review for free that's right but to be honest with you i i'm fortunate enough to be at the point in this channel growth now where i get a lot of requests to review stuff a lot of offers to send me stuff for free and and most of them quite frankly i turn down because i only want to be associated with stuff that i personally use or like or think it's just an absolutely great product that I, I have no hesitation about recommending Look, it's my reputation on the line i don't want to blow it for a, a 50 or 100 dollar or whatever a 20 dollar item or a 500 dollar item i don't care um so the point being that snugback is a great company everything i've seen from them or touching them is first class quality and it's um is something i would I, I just don't hesitate to recommend it because i'm confident in it so and um anyway i just i know i, I sounded like a snug pack fanboy there and uh <laughs> i don't mean to but but maybe i am a little bit because this is some of the highest quality gear that that um that you can get you know there's other high quality companies out there but i can tell you for sure snug pack is one of them so anyway just wanted to kind of um clear the air on that because i got to think about what i said i thought man i sound like a cheerleader and maybe i am a little bit but it's only because i really think that there's some good stuff having said that i will say the one negative that i might have about the poncho liner here is that i would really like to see this stuff sack be a little bit bigger because i'll just tell you it is a pain in the neck to get that thing back in here i know they're going for small size but man it is you really really got to stuff it so anyway that's about the only negative i can think of though to be honest with you as always, thanks for watching Survival on Purpose. Thanks for subscribing. Thanks for clicking that thumbs up, for sharing this video with your, all your friends, for watching those ads. And thank you so much for shopping on Amazon through the Survival on Purpose links. I really, truly appreciate it. Once again, my name is Brian. You're watching Survival on Purpose. Remember, survival is not an accident. So be prepared. See you next time. Hey, I just realized this looks a lot like Larry Roberts' Facebook profile picture. Just saying. I got to squeeze it. <laughs>